Imagine this, you're a police officer called to the scene of a crime, where you see a car engulfed in flames, guarded by an incoherent man wielding a knife. What do you do? Well, you fire some shots in the air, and you manage to subdue the man into submitting to the law. More officers arrive on the scene, and the fire department extinguishes the burning car. Well, that did happen in Vancouver, Canada, but what happens next is both Surprising and, well, entertaining. As police were cordoning off the crime scene, both themselves and onlookers were stunned when a crow swooped in, picked up the shiny knife the man was holding, and flew off with the evidence. Police chased the crow for about 15 to 20 feet before the crow thankfully decided to drop the knife and retreat to safety. Police then took the knife and decided to securely pack it in an evidence box far from any crow or any other would-be tamperers. But who was the crow? Well, it turns out that our dark friend was none other than Canuck, a crow who was instantly recognisable by the red band on his leg, which was placed there by his would-be owner, Sean Bergman, who found the crow as a helpless little hatchling who fell from the nest. Canuck was then raised, fed and groomed by his newly adopted dad, who watched him grow into a crow. However, Canuck has never left his owner's side, except when, like most crows, he flies off to find something shiny to bring back to his nest, which in this case, had become Bergman's own home. Bergman has said of Canuck that he is very mischievous and a prolific thief, but he can also be quite comical, and he is very honoured to be a close friend of the crow. Well, while we hope that no one finds any bloody shiny evidence in Mr. Bergman's apartment, we do like the unique relationship he has with his feathered friend.